Hey everyone, so I'm back with another video. If you guys haven't seen my previous video on getting veneers, what they are, why I was getting them, or why I'm getting them, definitely check out that video first. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about my temporaries, which I got them yesterday. They're a little bit hard to talk with, yeah, so if I sound a little funny, that's why. Um, anyway, so I'm just going to tell you guys all about my appointment yesterday and what happened. So I go my appointment was 12 o'clock. Anyways, when I got into the room, he, the dentist, he, you know, examines my mouth, kind of asks me to, you know, smile, open my mouth, bring my jaw forward, um, close my, close my mouth, open my mouth, you know, stuff like that. So he just kept asking me to do different things with my mouth, um, while he was looking inside with the mirror and, you know, putting up my, my lips so he can see my teeth and stuff. Then he kind of just wanted me to, like, refresh his memory on how many veneers I was getting um, so I told him six six on the top six on the bottom he was saying to me do you want to get eight and then four and I was like no I actually thought about that before I went to his office if I you know wanted to do something different but I think six and six um, is the best way to go because when I smile you see six and six so it made more sense so he left the room and when he came back um, he said we're gonna do a lot of impressions today so basically it's like taking molds of my teeth and my jaw and everything so we did a lot of impressions I want to say we did about 10 impressions before he started working on my teeth he did impressions of my real teeth I think he did two or three in total so he did the top first then he did the bottom then he did the full mouth um, he stepped outside again I guess he went to put them maybe in a box or something to ship them off to the lab or whatever. Um, so he's gone for about 10 minutes or so. His assistant came in and she said, oh, did he give you blah, 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 blah. And I was like, sorry, I don't know what that is. And then she said, oh, did he give you your, um, did he freeze your mouth or give you your, the needles or whatever? And I said, oh, no, he didn't. And at that point, I was getting a little bit nervous because I don't like needles. Um, so I thought she was going to go ahead and give me the injection and I was like, oh my god. But she left the room and um, he came back. He was talking to her and saying different things. I was kind of listening to what they were saying, but I didn't know what they were saying because they were speaking in... They are speaking in English, but they were using a lot of different terms that I didn't understand. Only, I guess, a dentist or hygienist would understand. Um, but anyways, he began drilling my teeth. Um, he didn't mention any needles or anything he just started and I was saying to myself oh my god this is gonna hurt because I spoke to my friend the day before and she said whenever she gets dental work they have to give her like hundreds of needles and she said for her last appointment she needed 48 needles I was like oh god but anyways um he started drilling so he started on this side he started on the the canine tooth which is the pointy tooth or like the fang tooth so he started on that tooth and I felt absolutely nothing he was drilling my tooth, like drilling it down, and I felt nothing. Um, before he started, I asked him, um, how much of my teeth are you going to file down? And he said about half a millimeter to a millimeter. And I was like, okay, that's really isn't much. Um, so anyways, he started drilling my teeth, and I felt nothing on that tooth. He moved over, didn't feel a thing. Moved over, nothing. Um, but when he got to this tooth, the one in the very front, the buck tooth I did feel a little bit of sensitivity I want to say like a 6 out of 10 and then it won't be sided again 6 out of 10 but it was it was bearable I could bear it um, it really wasn't bad um, so he finished the top teeth and then he asked me um, how do you feel about your two front teeth and I said um, they're kind of long and he's like yeah I was thinking the same thing so he had to go back and file those down a little bit more um, but she took off a good chunk off of the two front ones because they they are long so yeah while he's drilling down those that's where I really felt very very sensitive I want to say like a, maybe like an 8 out of a 8 out of 10 or whatever which is pretty high but again I didn't take any needles I was able to bear it the only time that I felt you know like a tingling or felt sensitive is where when he held the drill in one spot for a long period of time if he was constantly moving it back and forth like that, I wouldn't feel it. But if he held it in one area for a long period of time, then I would feel sensitive. 
Um, but I was able to just, you know, suck it up and just let him do what he was doing. So he did that and he finished the top teeth and he gave me like a 10 minute break. He and so when he left the room, I quickly started taking some pictures and some videos so that way I can share it with you guys. Yes, yeah, so when I first got to see my mouth, I was like, oh wow, it really doesn't look bad. Because like on YouTube, if you Google like before and after photos or before, during and after photos, um, and you see people's teeth after it's been filed down, it looks really, really scary. Some people's teeth look like little toothpicks. My teeth look like regular teeth. Like I could have walked out of that office and been perfectly fine. Like my teeth look like regular teeth. They didn't look exactly like my old teeth, of course not, because the two front ones were filed right down. There's a lot more spacing in between because he's prepping my teeth for the veneers, um, for the real veneers. And yeah, it, my teeth look really, my teeth look really good. So anyways, he came back, he did the bottom teeth. Oh, the bottom teeth were very, very, very sensitive. Again, I didn't take any needles. I... Like I was saying, it only hurt or was sensitive when he held a drill in one area for a long period of time. Other than that, it wasn't sensitive. If he kept moving it back and forth like that, um, I didn't really feel anything. But the bottom teeth were very sensitive. I felt the drill on every single tooth. Yeah, but again, no needles. By the time he was done drilling my teeth, um, there was like powder all over my mouth because from drilling my teeth, all my teeth shavings were all over my mouth which is really weird. It kind of looked like baby powder. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much what happened. It wasn't too bad. Then he did some more impressions. Um, he used like this big plastic thing to open up my mouth really wide so that way saliva wouldn't get on my teeth. He said that this impression would be like really, really crucial. So I had to, you know, cooperate and not, you know, mess up or anything. So he kind of told me what to do. Um, he put like this jelly stuff all over my teeth. So he did the bottom row first. So the assistant in the corner of my eye was filling the tray that I was going to bite onto um, with some pink stuff that looked like bubble gum. And she was kind of just spraying it with the jelly, the, I don't know what it is, some rubbery stuff. And yeah, so she was doing that and he was putting some other yellow jelly stuff on my teeth. Everything was happening really, really quickly. Like I was saying, it was a very crucial step, so um, they were doing things very, very quickly. So as soon as he was done with my teeth, she would pass it over to him, he would pop it in my mouth, he would say bite, and I would bite onto it. I had to keep that tray in my mouth for 10 minutes. I couldn't open my mouth or anything like that. I just had to keep my teeth clenched for 10 minutes. I had to make sure that my back teeth were all touching, touching each other so that way um, the mold would be perfect or set properly. So I kept the tray in for 10 minutes and every few minutes he would check to see if it was hardening to make sure that all my teeth were t in properly. So 10 minutes went by, he asked me to, you know, open my mouth and I couldn't. My mouth was like glued shut. I was like, like trying to pry open my mouth. It was so hard and then finally I think the top teeth, no, the bottom teeth came loose and the tray was still stuck to the top so he just pulled it out. Um, and as soon as he pulled it out he was like, oh my god this looks so good, the, the lab is going to be so happy and he was showing the assistant like, look how nice this looks, it came out so great and I was just like, I didn't really know. To me it just looked like a mold so um, to him he was really happy about it and so we did that impression and that was the final impression. We did a lot of small impressions before that one. Um, like I said, we did a total of like 10. Then he started making my temporaries. Um, I couldn't really see what he was doing because I was facing this way and I had that little suction thingy in my mouth take, you know, sucking up all the saliva. But he was doing his thing in the corner, um, making the temporaries. I can hear him like sanding and he said he was polishing them or whatever. And he came back over and he started like sticking them on individually. And I was, think I was thinking to myself, every video I've seen on YouTube, it's been one solid piece for the temporaries. But mine was individual veneers. Or in yeah, individual temporaries. And he was saying that um, every time he would sand them down, they would just pop off. So 
um, he just ended up putting them on individually, which is good because then I can floss if I want if I wanted to, but I'm not going to, just because these are not bonded on very well, which I'll talk about in a second. So, anyways, he finished my my temporaries and he put them on to kind of see how they look and whatever, fix the few, and then he went ahead and took took like a bonding agent with which was in like a little syringe and he glued all of them on. He did the top first and then he did the bottom ones. Yeah, so they use like a UV light to set the teeth and um, he was saying to me that you're probably not going to like your temporaries. You, usually people don't like their temporaries and I was like, like all the videos I've seen on YouTube people like their temporaries. Like they look like they're, new, like they're permanent veneers. So I was like, hmm. Anyways. Um, then I finally got to see them and I was like, oh, yeah, these things are hideous. They look exactly like my old teeth. They're very, very yellow. They're very roughly done and they're not smooth and I can feel them with my tongue and it just, it feels horrible. Um, but anyways, that's pretty much what happened at my appointment. I did a lot of impressions. He drilled down my teeth. He put on my temporaries. And that's pretty much what happened in my three hour appointment. So then he told me that I would need to go to um, the dental lab and I would, you know, pretty much sit down with them and they would design my veneers. Um, I need to be very detailed, he said, about the color, the shape, the length, the size, whatever. And if I wanted any patterns or like un unique um, details on them so that they look natural or so that they mimic my old teeth a little bit um, then I need to be detailed about that as well I didn't know I was gonna have to go to a lab I thought everything was going to be done in the dentist's office but he told me since I'm getting 12 done um, I would need to go to the lab but if I was doing like you know four or whatever then they would do it there in the office but since I'm doing so many I have to go to the lab um, which was a little strange, but um, doesn't matter. I I rather you know go to the lab, sit down with them, and tell them exactly what I want versus me telling my dentist and him transferring the message to the lab, and then it ends up being like a broken telephone thing. So, so now flash forward to today, which is the day after my temporaries were put on. Again, they're very rough. As for how my teeth feel, um, they're very sensitive. Um, especially the bottom ones. The bottom ones are very sensitive. Um, I was trying to eat fries yesterday from McDonald's and I could not bite in the front because it, it hurts. It feels, it actually, this time it actually does feel like it hurts. Not really sensitive, it actually like hurts because of all the drilling from yesterday. So it kind of hurts. Um, it is a little weird to talk with them. Um, not too bad because um, most of them are individuals except for the two at the very bottom those two at the bottom are actually is actually one piece so when i speak no air gets through that area so um it's i sound a little weird also i was saying that the my vine my temporaries aren't bonded onto my teeth very well um he didn't use a strong bonding agent just because um i do have to take these off to get my real veneers so yeah he didn't bond it very well so that way when i do go back for my next appointment these are easy to pop off i've seen a lot of videos on youtube where girls had to get needles again to freeze their mouth because pulling off their veneers really um hurt or it made their teeth sensitive or whatever um but since mine aren't bonded on to my teeth very well um these will come off in no time which happened this morning actually this one came off this morning I kind of popped it off with my tongue which is kind of annoying that I can actually do that um, that I could pop it off by accident with my tongue so I probably will go back to him and get him to glue this one on a little bit better but yeah that's pretty much that uh, my veneers look exactly my temporaries look exactly like my real teeth um, the only thing that's different is the color these temporaries are yellow. My my old teeth were not yellow. My old teeth were actually very, very white. Compared to these, my old teeth were really white. Um, I really don't like the look of these temporaries. Um, they're very rough. They look like a child drew them and I stuck them onto my teeth. Um, 
it's really rough and ugly looking. <clears throat> Most of the time your temporaries will look like your old teeth because that's the molding. Ugh, it's kind of hard to explain. That's the, I guess you could say the template that they have. Um, so that's what they go off of, of when they're making their, their temporaries. So for the most part, your temporaries will most likely look like your old teeth. Um, and your real veneers will look like, will look like your dream teeth, your perfect teeth that you want, that you personally, you know, designed. One thing I would like to mention is that these teeth or these veneers are very weak. They're not very strong. I believe they're made out of acrylic or plastic, something like that. So they can chip, they can fall off, they can pop off very easily. Um, as I was just telling you guys, I popped one off with my tongue already. So I have to keep these on for a total of 16 days. I'll be getting my real veneers on October 20th. So that's pretty much it. That's pretty much how it went. Overall, it was a great experience. I'm glad that I didn't have to get any needles. Um, I'm glad that I felt little to no pain. Some top teeth are a little bit sensitive today because of all the work that was done yesterday. But overall, um, I'm very happy with the process so far. Not happy with how the temporaries look, but usually people aren't happy with them. So. Thankfully, it's just two weeks with them. I'm going to try not to talk a whole lot to people um, because these are very ugly and they look oh, they look so bad. I will update you guys um, after I get my real veneers and then I'll do maybe a one month update, then six months, then one year, and then that'll be it. You guys will see my veneers um, way more in my vlog videos because in my vlogs, I'm you know pretty close to the camera so you guys will see be able to see my teeth a lot better um, but yeah that's pretty much it so yeah I definitely plan to do a Q&A video in the future after I get my real veneers and yeah so hope you guys enjoyed this and I'll see you guys in my next video